What is going on everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we have a reaction to the new Brother Alpha Abuser video titled A Day in the Life of Boy, which is a uh, Vox Logs. Obviously this is a bit of side uh, lore I guess for this TTS series, you know, that they bring out while they make the episodes. Pretty interesting, always fun, you know, always, always great. I love Alpha Abuser's videos, original video down in the description below. If you want to be part of the reactions live, you can go follow the Twitch. If you want to stay updated, you can join our Discord. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Let's go. Day in the life of a boy. Vox Logs. Where did I watch this for so Oh, 29 is released on the 30th. Oh, so episode, episode 29 of the actual TTS is coming out in like a week. Or less than a week now. That's fucking sick. I've been, we've been waiting for that shit for so long. Thanks. My day? Oh. Yes. Explain your day, Navishiate. Your record is hot. Your veins remain. You want to see the chat? Okay. Expected to have had their feet expand by a size exceeding your current circumference. The veins oh. protrude from their legs <laughs> like thick cords are binding in their backs, crooked by the sacred weight of the humanly vox caster. Oh, this guy has a fucking vox shit in his mouth. They have this really unique way of making the character so ugly and disturbing. Pretty good. Have you been hailing the Emperor's words? Sitting down <laughs> like the Emperor. <sighs> Yours not the privilege to sit as our ever screaming Emperor. Okay, dude. You are to stand till you no longer can. <laughs> now tell me exactly why is it that your record is so spotty? Your fate are so small. My feet got to do with it. Listen to the Vox cast. What? The Vox casts. You refer to the Vox casts of the voice? <laughs> of course I do. At all times. I do not ever stop. I am listening to them at all times. Right as we speak. I should use. I should all. I barely understand anything being said. I do not know what a coass is. A coass. Yo, oh, that's my favorite word, dude. Every syllable. Every single sound as it by the voice. Oh, Lord's voice. This our feature shrink our backs till elongate far, far. Into the ceiling, into space, into seven hills. I am preserved since I was just punishment for that negligence. Didn't they only say say coas because they kept said they kept censoring it in uh in the podcasts? Like they they said chaos and it would like beep, so they said coas instead. It's very funny. Are we? Why would you question my loyalty to the voice? Novitiate the voice. <laughs> No, no, I do not care to hear. You shall not taint with your squalid thoughts the matter of the voice. You will explain to me your day now, so that I may continue to listen with rapt attention to the Vox cast with the honey goblin man. Goblin. <laughs> I'll explain. Goblin man. Awake in the morning as the million bells scream out their metal song. I walk out of the Vox box that I stand in in the resting hours. I prepare to give thank yous to the machine spirit of the Vox cast. And you go about it how? I begin the rites of kneeling before it till the bells stop sounding and my ears stop shrieking. Then I recite the hymn of hearing till my voice stops working. <laughs> then I light the incense. Then I scrub with the organ cloths the golden tar onto the casting frame. Then I pour the chamomile waters into the caster mouth, certain it is at the boiling point. Then I hold it aloft and shake it till the sacred scrambling sounds subside. <laughs> then I let the caster come to life, pressing my lowly finger almost to its breaking point, and pawed its hallowed upper room. I don't know if, if, say, breaking the Vox cast with the water. I was going to say is, 
his voice isn't really that annoying when he only talks once every 25 minutes in the podcast. While listening to it drone on is kind of a little bit annoying. And then take upon the man for my blower and have it blast. A oh, oh, wind blower. The head of the caster so it crackles and pops holily with unparalleled quality. Mm. I have some remarks. First. Please do tell me you but for the moment forgot to mention the aromatic tablets and that you haven't neglected to pour them into the Karshta's gallet as part of the rite. They just have a ritual for this. Secondly, <laughs> do you mean to tell me you have not actually broken your lowly fingers upon the hallowed power rune? No. Uh, how could I press the book fingers? I disgrace. <laughs> Behold the vitiate. These fingers do not function. They are but shrivel tusks. Blue fragmented maggots. A daily sacrifice. For the voice. They are used to power the machines bit. And nothing else. Yours are no better. But how do you hold? How do I hold? Why do you think my ribs screwed uh. in this manner? Ribs are for holding <laughs> the apes. Okay, dude. Continue as you were. I wish to hear. Sacrament your day carries. said my ribs hold it, dude. <laughs> so he broke his fingers doing the whole Vox thing. And then obviously he wasn't doing it properly. Fucking deluded guy. After the rites, I lied for the communal break of fast. I attain the protein bar. I consume the protein. The protein bar. I remove the weird toenail things from the bar. Oh. Because the rite is broken. Oh, and the bitchy consume the nails. They help oh. you grow your feet. Oh. Continue. After break of fast, I go to the hydrogen chambers. I then take up the cleansing dust and scrubs it all over. I roll in the dust and fill in my mouth with the dust. And sometimes I get the dust in my non-metal eye, and I have to live with the dust for the rest of the day. Okay, buddy. I could use the water ration to scrub it, but the last time I did that, I almost went to thirst death. <laughs> <laughs> the boss tongue and the dry throat are both signs of gratitude. Your mortal vessel thanks you. Using it to Am I the only guy who's slightly triggered by the eyes not being capitalized? my caster and stand in the line from out our order hall. As I follow the stream, I wish upon the machine spirit that I do not end up standing next to Blood, Big Throat. So you now meekly drone about our greatest novitiate, Bog Big Throat, of Taylor <laughs> Wonder Child. Big Throat. I wonder what he's using it for, dude. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. It is evil. Filth! It is filth to come <laughs> Bog Big Throat, child prodigy, amazes us with his extremely loud howling. Blessed with the throat of a Primarch, our scream oh, yeah. lord has made sure he will lead our order into the future. Kicks my shins and calls me a big. No, it is but your shins that jab into Bog Big Throat's humongous feet. Pathetic. What do you accomplish once out in the palace? Why? Why does having big feet? What does that have to do with being a Vox dude? Am I just that? I'm so confused. I don't know what big feet meant to connote. You know what I mean? I don't think they're talking about that because they stand around all day. I mean, a lot of people stand around all day. The custodians stand around all day. Pretty much everyone in Warhammer stands around all day. Except the Imperial Guard, they get shit on all day. But like, so is the big throat good because he gets the Vox thing right all the way down? Yes. When I'm out of the line, I wander for a while. The streets have dangers, but I avoid most. Amongst the mildest is choking in the people see. Not knowing how to crowd walk properly can end you up suffocating and trampled to death. Uh, like my friend Hegby. R.I.P. Hegby. Also walking on the bombs. Gotta avoid those. Heg 
They got landmines. <laughs> that's funny dude oh i bet there's so many rats <laughs> where's it they get eat eaten by rats what kind of fucking steroid rats is there in a warhammer dude is that what happens they're like bathing emperor shit and like just become mutated oh shit he's got schizophrenia World War One rats. Oh! Still my skin. You know, speaking of rats, I saw a, a picture the other day of something that came out of the sewer, and it looked like a massive rat. It looked like a fucking... I don't know what it was. The picture was blurry, but it was on. It was on Instagram. Guaranteed to be in the crossfire between Taco insurrectionists. Very dangerous. <laughs> also, sometimes there are orcs. They orcs. I always put away pretty quick, but one time my friend Bogway was grabbed by one and thrown. Ratzilla. Rip. What's that guy's name? Of hearing all these ridiculous Bogway such. <laughs> Bog big throat. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So Bog big throat died by a rat. <laughs> Rip. Rip Bog big throat, dude. <laughs> Why is your schedule so bad? Okay. So, I hop towards the gate. The gate? I soon end up at the big, big Q. Wait, 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 wait. Why is big, why is the G capitalized? The pilgrim one. The, the one into the gate. The gate? Yes, what is that? I'm on a timer. I do not have the time to stand in pilgrim queue for Pilgrim queue. But skipping All right. queue is super dangerous because if someone thinks you are skipping, you will be eaten by the hangry pilgrim. Hangry. <laughs> so I roll out like action boy, camouflage under stones, brave the sewers and run from the baddies, pretend to be extremely important so people move out of the way, fall down and pretend die in the forwards moving way. It, it, it all varies day to day, but you look 200 IQ, bro. Just to get to gate and not get eight. Why don't you so this is the the they're doing a pilgrimage to the emperor, I guess, right? That's that's what this is. Like they're they're doing the pilgrimage to the emperor, and they stand there for years. Imagine, dude. What purpose do you have at the front of the gate? Okay, so I slither slather my way to the front and don't die. Then and do not die. Yes, yes. No, I walk up the stairs. Don't spit this liar's threat at me, snake. You do not pass into the Emperor's personal realm. No, I do. No, you do not. <laughs> I travel the stairways towards the big gate. Sometimes other pilgrims try and follow, but are made to dust by the picky guard. <laughs> I travel the big, big steps, and it is very exercising. This grammar is impeccable. Do the end dolphins. And dolphins. <laughs> How do you explain? Please, on big stairwalk legs, sir. 
Oh shit, dude. Why is the meat on your leg so bloated? What disease have you brought? It's muscles. It's muscles. You got them cinch legs, dude. This is what I get for rejecting your lacking creed. But for me, royals, you sully the costa with your fucking fingers. You insult the emperor with your ass in seat. I travel up the stairs. The big gate opens for me. I am oft joined by wardens of this ascended province, iridescently gleaming in luminosity, shown like Chiliad suns, reflecting the soul-enriching facts of the Man Emperor's million golden hues. Wait, wait, wait. So he can poetically just spew, spew that fucking, you know, poem of a paragraph, but he can't. He can't say mus muscles. He says musclies. And he says endolphins. <laughs> Are there actually chairs on Terra? I mean, for the Emperor there is. I'm sure so. Oh, I mean, I'm sure the higher-ups get to sit down. You know, like those old guys. What are they called again? The Emperor sits on one. Yeah. He sits on a throne. Is that a chair? I guess. Colossal chambers with roofs invisible to vision unassisted. Whose uppermost reaches contain within them their own microclimates. So I meant the plebs, then probably not. Cannily constructed, we strive for that most sacred light of lights, shining at the apogee of the sanctum, brightly burning like a galaxy of flame. We pass through mountain ranges of impossible height, the skulls of heroes whose names are now forgotten, carved from their ancient summits, clouds of incense billowing around features worn smooth by the crushing passage of the years. This is quite the speech. The apparitions of those who sold their very lives in holy service sit crying on mass. Choirs of the wailing souls of ten long millennia singing of their eternal, blissful agonies before shriveling to nothing at our approach. Throughout our journey, a slowly converging network of cables and machinery varying in size from spindly threads to massives in their own right all creep like mechanical vines towards the distant pulsating light winding their way through the gilded graveyards of these halls within whose coffins the corpses still scream after uncountable time after walking through lakes of plasma halls of sleeping golems valleys of pistons and pumps pyramids of glimmering ore might we reach the ultimate door wherein big <laughs> I'm surprised this guy didn't cream his pants, dude. He probably did. Which Primark is going to come in now and tell him it's time to go to work? Or something? Be flayed. Shall be no. Okay. Your mouth shut by the sanctified silvered tape. You know. The blessed tape off. It is too qualitative. I was gonna say it would be so funny. I mean, there's still six minutes left, so I'm assuming the tape's coming off. But it would be so funny if he just went into, like, the next podcast with tape, and he was like, mm -mm -mm -mm. and, like, the Emperor's like, what the fuck is going on? And then someone just ripped the tape off. That, that'd be funny. I'm, recommended by the local mechanicus cult. They use this stuff for everything. I'm sure they do. Now, Including the hostess. Censor your ancestry. You shall live the life of the non-existent. You will not be anything to anyone. An even miserlier existence. I suppose he has antennas on the skulls. Ah, the 
this does mean I shall have to retcon your family. Retcon? Our reduction call will strike them out, and whoever may have known of their or your existence. Oh no. <laughs> How dare you! You hit me with the sacred box get <laughs> My sirloin? You got a steak, bro. Okay, that's it. Attack us, let's go! Fuck me. Man said my sirloin. Arse hailer. No. Oh, very well then. <laughs> Thick leg meat. Thick leg meat will be of use as ration bar. Oh. Take him away from you. <laughs> <laughs> In the shin, dude. Oh no, it's Rogel Dawn for sure, dude. Boy. No, it's just Custodes. I would scream with contempt at you for your lateness to the recording of the new Vox cast. But I bet you popped one of his veins. From out your ears. Why is your mouth covered? Not mine to judge for your delay, boy. I can't hear anything. Well, that is an issue. You will not even be able to hear our glorious overlord typing out a description of the pain he was in. <laughs> And just who are you to impede the Emperor's chosen Vox Hailer from completing his duties? Hmm. Stodies. Their bodies are from Jojo Pillman, by the way. As people used to tell me what it was from before. I don't remember, but like, they used to tell me. Bleeds to death from a cut on his shin. That must be one fucking hench leg that boy has. Guy just snapped his other guy's leg cleaner. Oh, he bled out. <laughs> Was that your work, boy? Did you kick his horrid leg? Oh, did. <laughs> Impressive. How fortunate my chiseled form was here to arouse his demise. <laughs> Dare I say, a collaborative effort. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, come along, boy, before you suffer the same fate. We're moving you into the sanctum now. What? I said you're moving into the sanctum now. He must have had hemophilia. <laughs> Probably. Work. My family. Yes, we're making sure your kin, community, and progenitors are rightfully compensated for their contribution to the betterment of the Imperium. Come along now. What? And we're fixing your ears. Good. Did I do good? Yes, Dornable will be proud. Dornable. Still can't hear. Just say kind of yes or no. <laughs> Shut up, boy. Hey. Ow. <laughs> no one even knew you were there, bro. Should I uh, start a traitor cult? <laughs> Try to become the traitor to take Crispy Beard? 
must be a bit of a tall order for me, though. Especially since I'm on Terra. Should I try to skip the planet? Will I even be able to? Probably not. Can I join a gang? Can I join a gang? Is the screen just getting dark? Ah. <laughs> Is this guy all right? Bro, they didn't even see you. Just move on. Right, Imperial. <laughs> I don't... Well, that that was fun. I like that. That was pretty cool, dude. Pretty cool indeed. It feels nice to actually watch fucking Warhammer again. You know? It's been a while. I really like Warhammer. It's just like obviously I can't react to it anymore. Or videos, but I miss this. And if the new episode of TTS is coming out in like a week, then I'm very excited. <laughs>